Let's get into uh, the Giants on the Earth and, and the Magic Bands and the Kesetat, because this is something that I don't think people realize, that there's a lot of scripture about this stuff, but if they just read the word bands in the psalm, they don't get it. Well, no, and right, so let's just go right there. Ezekiel 13.20 um, says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against your magic bands. And the word bands there is kasetot, a word that you referred to earlier. Uh, but, so let me read it without interrupting. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against your magic bands, or kasetot, by which you hunt souls, lives, souls, there as birds. And I will tear them off your arms, and I will let them go, even those lives, that is the Hebrew word souls, whom you hunt as birds, in quote. Ezekiel 13.20. What an extraordinary portion of scripture. And people, uh, and, and including some of the best theologians, were for many, many years somewhat very confused about what in the world was Ezekiel talking about magic bands being on the arms of somebody, and that these magic bands had the power to control souls. This was a magic armband that was used uh, in connection. And, and I, I don't want to take information to myself, Steve, but I think I was one of the very first persons who ever not only found this, but spent a great deal of time trying to figure out what was being talked about here, and I wrote about it. It was either in my first book or second book, The Gods Who Walk Among Us, I don't remember. I think it was in The Gods Who Walk Among Us. But how that this was used in connection with an orca, uh, or a container, if you will, that was called the keist, K-I-S-T-E. And, and wherever this uh, keist was inscribed on sarcophagi that I found and on uh, bacchic, that uh, seems that is the the, the back the backe you know meaning the female followers of Bacchus or Dionysus. Um, how that the keist by them was used as kind of a sacred vessel, a soul prison. And the interesting thing about the about the um, sarcophagi scenes that can be found on this is that it shows it shows this this uh, vessel with a snake peering up through an open lid. And there's very little that's known about this. In other words, how the magic worked or in what way a thing or a soul could be imprisoned or bound. Uh, much of that is still a mystery. Pan is also associated with the, with the imagery associated with this, the half man, 